Tomorrow is Juneteenth, the historic date now a federal holiday marking the end of slavery in the U.S. Local celebrations here in the Valley have already started. Hector Mejia is live this afternoon at the Cosmopolitan with some details. Hector, good afternoon. Hey there, good afternoon, and it's been a day full of celebration here at the first ever Juneteenth Jubilee Breakfast, and it's set to become an annual event. It was put together by the local NAACP and hosted by the Cosmopolitan, bringing together community leaders, activists, members, and all coming together as we all talk about unity and commemorate Juneteenth. The holiday celebrates the emancipation of the last African-American slaves in Texas in 1865. That was two and a half years, though, after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed to free slaves. Now, the holiday has long been observed by the African-American community, but overlooked by history until recently. For us, it just means that finally the world is recognizing us as a people of color, uh, minorities, that we have come a long way and that this is our official Independence Day. And it's nice to have this day recognized just for us and for us to be able to educate the rest of our partners around this country that we are one and a little bit about our heritage and our history. Just yesterday, it became a federal holiday after President Joe Biden signed a bill commemorating the end of slavery in the U.S. It's the first new national holiday since 1983, back when President Ronald Reagan added the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. And as you can, as you can see, celebrations still continuing out here. Juneteenth will be the nation's 11th federal holiday, but as we uh, just mentioned, these celebrations have been going on for quite some time here in the Valley. Reporting live from the Cosmopolitan, Hector Mejia, 8 News Stand.